Hey, hey team, good morning. And today we're gonna talk about food timing. And here's the thing, food and the timing of your food basically trumps everything when it comes to getting a good night's sleep and staying asleep and getting the deep restorative sleep that we are all craving. This is how it works. Your food clock, which is also known as your food and trainable clock basically is regulated by the um, hypothalamic region of your brain, your hypothalamus. And that actually will dictate your body's circadian rhythms, which are how you fall into your sleep cycles, right? That we get sleepy at night and that we're awake in the morning. So the way you eat will absolutely control the way that you sleep. The two are totally interlocked. That said, this is gonna be short and sweet to the point. I'm offering you four food timing tips. Put them all in place, because they're super easy. First tip, you want to work backwards and think about Stopping eating at least 12 hours before breakfast, right? So you want to work backwards from that. So let's say you wake up at 6 and you have your first meal at 7. That means your last meal the night before should be at 7 p.m., right? Because you're going to have time to digest. You're going to have no disruption with regard to getting into your deep REM sleep, okay? So for optimal sleep, you wanna basically eat during daylight hours and fast when it's dark. That's a good rule. Again, because that's going to coincide with your circadian rhythm, which is that you need to be asleep when it's dark and awake when it's light. That's what our body is preset for. The next, your morning meal, whatever time you have it, right? should be your biggest meal. That is when you are surging cortisol, you are restored, recovered, full of energy, full of life. So you're going to want to fuel yourself with some healthy carbohydrates, obviously protein, like I always say, so good nourishing vegetables. And that is going to enhance the amount of energy you have to get your most productive stuff done. So your morning meal should be the biggest. Third tip. You wanna avoid the heavy saturated fats in the evenings that come typically from red meat, pork, lamb, um, a lot of dairy products at night, although I do recommend warm milk if you have trouble sleeping, but that's a whole other topic that enhances some endocrine, um, some hormone secretion. But in general, you wanna avoid those heavy foods at night. If you think about this logically, it actually makes sense. You don't need to understand the science to really just think. Having a heavy meal is gonna sit in your gut, okay? And it's going to obviously prevent you from falling asleep. And if you do fall asleep, keeping you in a deep sleep and getting enough sleep cycles uh, to wake up rested and replenished. So evening, stay more toward the healthier fats, nuts, maybe avocado, and of course plenty of uh, protein from things like fish or eggs or egg whites um, or whey. Sometimes I'll have a Shakeology at night. I think that's a great solution if you're struggling with dinner. Do your Shakeology at night. It's great for recovery. Okay, that was three tips. I lied. I said four. I'm thinking of tomorrow. So three things. That's it. That's all you need to do. Put them in place. Comment below and let us know that you're going to do this starting today so we can hold you accountable. Food timing is everything. Remember, it trumps your clock. So let's get in charge of the way that we eat. Boom, 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 boom. Love you guys.